More than 99% of students get this calculus question wrong. Even ChatGPT gets it wrong. So look at this question really carefully and pause the video to see if you can find the right answer. So here's what happens if I paste it into ChatGPT. ChatGPT evaluates the limit of the inside of the function, which you should do, right? So it says the limit as x approaches zero is one. Great, and then it's saying, well, let's figure out what the limit as whatever approaches one of the outer function, which is f of x. And it says there's an open circle at one comma four. So let's look at the graph. Yep, there is an open circle there. And then it says, well, it doesn't matter if there's an open circle. The limits only care about the behavior as you approach the graph. So it says that it thinks the correct answer is D. If you got D, you're wrong. So let's move on to what some of my smarter students do. So they evaluate the limit and they still get the limit as one, right? But then they use the true definition of limit and they try to figure out the limit from both sides. They see that as you approach one from the left, the graph approaches three. And they see that as you approach one from the right, the graph approaches four. And since those points do not connect, then the limit does not exist. So a lot of students answer E. That's still not correct. So here's how you're actually supposed to do the question. When you're looking at the limit from the inside, you still want to do your one-sided limits approach from the left and approach from the right. And you have to realize that as one minus x squared approaches zero from either side, you're approaching one from beneath it. Here's a graph, maybe that provides a little bit more context. You can see that this is the graph of one minus x squared. And as you get closer and closer from both sides, it's going to approach one from underneath, 0 0.99999. So then the proper way to do the second step is to evaluate the limit as x approaches one from the negative side of f of x. And if you look at the graph, that's going to approach three. So the correct answer is C.